One more out of my business, Johnny. Come. This is my son. There you go. Shelby breakfast for you, Sean. I don't drink. And I'm not Shelby. Right? I'm a duke. <laughs> no fucking Shelby, all right. I worry about that. First off, I really wanted to ask, um, you landed this massive role as Tommy Shelby's son. How did you keep it secret? Did you let it spill to anybody? Uh, I think I told my, I think I told my parents, obviously. Um, and I told like a couple of my best mates, but you know, uh, th my, my friends, they, 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 they love the show as well so much. They, they themselves don't want, don't, don't want it to be spoiled for them. Um, but yeah, it was a difficult one to keep under wraps. I can imagine. What's the reaction been like? Has it been really positive? Has it been overwhelming? But for, for the small bits that I have seen, the response has been amazing. Um, and it's scary, right? Because it's, you know, the, 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 it's, it's a show that's been going for so long and people feel so connected to the characters and to be, to be a brand new one and, and, and quite an important one at that. Um, there's always that fear that they're like, who is this? Who is this guy who, who's joined our family? What's he doing here? We don't really like him. But it, from what I've seen, it hasn't been like that, and it's really heartwarming to see. In this series, there's been lots of talk about eye color, uh, yours mm -hmm. in particular as well. So I have to ask you, quite obviously, what is your eye color? Would you say? Would you say uh, that for yourself? Are they green? That's so funny. Yeah. Um, of course, Killian has these stunning eyes, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like greeny, greeny brown. Okay, greeny brown. Yeah, I thought we, I thought it might be that. They look kind of green in some of your. A little bit grey. It, it, I mean, it's it's all the it's all the lighting team. <laughs> Depends on the day. Depends on the day. Yeah. And um, so obviously playing Tommy Shelby's son, he's such a seminal character. He's got so many specific mannerisms he has and ways of being mm -hmm. across. I wondered with your performance, did you try and emulate anything of Tommy? Because <sighs> um, like I said he hasn't grown up with him, but it might be the kind. Oh, of that's that's cool. interesting. Through. No, I, I never really thought of it like that. Well, I was speaking to someone who was, I was speaking to a friend the other day, um, and the way that he puts his cigarette in his mouth, he kind of puts it along his bottom lip. Um, and there's the scene in episode five when he gives me the cigarette. Um, but no, I think I think maybe naturally, I think maybe naturally there are certain things that I emulate about him. I'm, I'm, I might mimic, just just kind of out of. It out of out of in instinct as, as an actor you do that maybe um but nothing consciously no i heard that the the cigarette thing was something to do with the filters is that right there's no filters on them so you needed to wet them so ah, <laughs> that's interesting i didn't know that little trivia bomb for you there little trivia bomb. Um, so duke hasn't quite taken to the violence of the peaky blinders life mm. in this new episode and he kind of wants them remain anonymous long term and um, why do you think that is what do you why do you think he wants to remain anonymous and what do you think he wants from this life long term he, he he kind of he kind of saw from that from the betting shop scene um what it's like to be part of what it's like to be part of the family and what that entails um and 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 he sees he sees someone being like yeah yeah it's 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 horrific i, I don't think he, he he'd ever really seen anything like that before so I think he wants to remain remain anonymous because he doesn't want to be a part of that he doesn't want to be put in those you know, uh, those vulnerable situations where you're forced to do something in the name of the family. Um, yeah, and I think in terms of his character, he's quite happy in his solitude. He's quite happy being by himself. And he, it, you know, without growing up without a father, you, you have that kind of, um, that kind of self-sufficiency and that kind of you're, you're okay looking after yourself and um so he's found the stables he's with curly um and a couple of forces i think he's quite happy with that yeah he does seem like quite a lone wolf um like i think his plan he says isn't it to kind of go up through every, every all the hills and mountains of england and stuff like that so he yeah does, like, man happy in his own company um we also hear that tommy's kind of envisaging him to look after the, the dark side of the business mm. maybe charlie to look after the light in the future what what do you think he means by that and what do you think that that could mean because that's probably quite a tricky one to remain anonymous but also look after the 
the dark side of the business, given what the dark side entails for Peaky Blinders? Yeah, I mean, may, may, maybe the the, the 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 kind of darkness that Tommy sees in himself, he he probably sees that in his son Duke. Um, so maybe it's not, you know, going out and killing people and doing all of that because, you know, Duke, Duke's explained to him that that, that that he doesn't want to do that, but you know, Tommy, Tommy's having to put all these parameters in place for when he becomes, you know, eventually incapable of, 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 of leading the family the way he used to. So, um, I think Tommy always knows that he's never going to make it 100% legitimately. So maybe he's making sure there's something in place. Yeah. Being realistic about it. Very pragmatic. Yeah. And <laughs> um, Esme uh, has also said that kind of Duke has the spirit in him and the spirits favour him. There's been a lot of kind of uh, the theme of um, lots of characters being in touch with the spirits this season. Did you get much of a sense of what that means for Duke and what ways in touch with the spirits and how that manifests for him? We kind of see that Michael's been having conversations with his, with his departed mum and Tommy's done that throughout the series. Do you, mm. you ever get a sense of what that means for Duke and how he's in connects, connects to the spirits and such? Yeah, I, I guess the kind of the spirituality comes from comes from his heritage. So he's a he's a com, comes from the traveling community. So spirituality is more important to their way of life than, than it would be, you know, like some an, an atheist living in living in modern day England. Spirituality was so much more important. And, you know, it's not just make believe it's not just fairy tale it's 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 a way of leading leading your life yeah, yeah for sure it's, it's always been quite intrinsic to the show and the, and the characters and i think they've it's really been embraced a lot more in this series it's been really interesting mm. to see it come to the fore because there's kind of been hints of it in the past but now it's it's very much playing around across across and the, and, the, and the way that they've written it is that some of these you know some of these, these spells or whatever they call them you know are actually real yeah and they're taken very seriously and I think that's quite a nice, quite quite a nice way to write it. There's been a bit of a mixed reaction to this series so far, and um, in fact, it's been a little bit of a slower pace, perhaps, than some fans are used to. I think they're used to lots of explosions and gunshots and stuff. Yeah. A bit more of a, a character piece, a lot of focus on Tommy and his mental state and stuff. Um, it's been, yeah, a mixed reaction, I guess, is why I'd say. Like, what would you say to some of those criticisms? How do you feel about mm. it? Not quite landing for everybody in the sense it, because it's been a bit of a slower pace. I mean, episode five was quite, quite exciting. There was the, 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 uh, the, the, the garroting scene in the bath. That was like one of the most, maybe in the whole series, one of the most violent scenes I've seen, certainly in the series. Um, but I, I study film. And I, I, I study at uni. I've done it for a year and a half. And some of the films we have to watch are a little bit boring. <laughs> it was two and a half hour black and white, silent, 1920s, um, very abstract. <laughs> um, so I, I, I'm not really like, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't mind going into somebody's, you know, internal emotional state for an hour. Um, but I guess, I guess the show is built on action and excitement. So I can see why some people might think that, but for me, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it actually. For sure, there's always got to be variety, hasn't there? I think, and as well with this central character, Tommy, we've learned so much about him to come bring to a proper yeah. conclusion. You want to know where he's at, I think. And I think the, the quieter, more uh, emotional moments, I think, have been done really well. Always a challenge this kind of show as well, because, you know, there's so many people that could be the lead in their own right. So to give them all justice and do them all their own, in their own way, it's tricky. It's, it's really hard to do, I think. Um, so how how significant is your role in the Peaky Blinders movie? So we know that Stephen Knight has said that um, he he want to carry he wants to carry on the spin-offs. There's been talk of like one with younger guys going down to London. He's mentioned that there's a character that comes to the fore in this season that's quite big. And I mean I mean Tommy Shelby's Tommy Shelby's son probably as big as it gets. So um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to ask yeah, what's the role like in the movie and what does kind of the future hold for Duke? I have no idea. I didn't even know that there was a movie. Um, <laughs> I mean, he, he, he talked about it at the premiere, which he really wasn't supposed to. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think he's still, you know, seeing the response in live time to this series and taking that on board. And I think he's still, you know, 
n nothing's set right. So he's still thinking about where he wants to take this. And I think the fans response is a good way to, you know, to, to, to see what direction he might want to take it on, to see what other people like. Um, but in terms of my character, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. I can only hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think you've got quite a good chance, is what I'd say. I guess what, what would you like to see for Duke um, in the future, do you think? I d yeah, I, d I mean, I, I know we I know we spoke about how he's quite like happy in his solitude, but I think, you know, establishing relationships with other members of the family um, and also as an actor, the, the, some, some of the cast in the show are just incredible. Um, some of my favorite actors ever are, are in the show that I'm in. So it's amazing to work on it. Um, I think the relationship he has with Arthur for me is quite, is quite sweet. Um, that kind of playfulness that they have, uh, maybe a couple of scenes with him, maybe relationship with him. Kind of looking ahead to the finale, which we're expecting this Sunday. And um, what can we expect? And I guess, how do you think fans are going to feel after having seen it? What do you think the reaction is going to be like? And the discourse after I haven't seen it. I don't know. Oh, okay. They've kept you completely. <laughs> so I can only speak from memory of filming. Um, I had great fun in some of the scenes in episode six, like so fun. Um, I don't. I don't know. My, I mean, my my reaction when I read it was, uh, I think, I think they tied together a lot of the plot points well. Some things, yeah. It's it's not completely. It's not like it's it's not like everything's come to a halt. There are still things at the end that could go off in different directions.